No one could tell me that I lacked. Didn't it not tell you, listen, you... <laughs> Just because I stand alone? Listen, no man should be alone, right? Mm. I've been alone for a long, long time. Hey, listen, I don't get caught up with the lust. I don't get caught up with, you know, saying, trying to, you know, whatever case may be. And no, I'm not claiming I'm perfect than you. You know, I have a sober mind this whole year. I bought Jesus this year, this whole time. You know, I'm thankful I'm not perfect. But like I said, regardless, I mean, hey, listen, if I don't get married, I trust in God. You know what I'm saying? I trust in God enough. Because I believe in God. And I know he has promises. You see, the devil could try to get in my ear and say, no, he's a lot. Uh, uh, well, guess what? The devil was a lie, not God. He could say God is a lie, but I don't believe what the devil says. You see, if I get married, it is what it is. But if I don't, guess what? Consider me as an angel. Because I do. God gave me a heart of love. And he, I know he's in, in me. I, hey, you know what? You could say what you want to say to me. I'm not, I don't do drugs. I don't. I'm a sober mind person. I'm not drunk. I don't drink beer like that. I don't. You used to say that in my past. But this is 20, this is 20, 21, right? There's only one perfect one in 2020 to me. And that's God. Last year I made the move that a prayer life took a 20 and everlasting. Or in forever or in for, and forever. But I made that into a lifestyle. Excuse me. Remember thing. I was drinking you know, water and apple juice. I drink apple juice or Whatever case may be, I just drink juice. You know what I'm saying? Drink juice or water. But um, but it's okay. I could do that. You know what I'm saying? I don't drink no soda. I've been eating healthy. I'm, I'm just thankful for God for whatever. You know what I'm saying? I've been dancing for God. I've been, you know what I'm saying, giving you all this stuff. And, you know, it's good stuff. And I do it for God. I don't do it for fame. I don't do it for none of that. People like to put me down. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I may be alone, but you can't say nothing. You guys got wives, kids, et cetera, et cetera. I'm 30 years old, still have the area. And guess what? Nobody's put something, you know, to help uh, bless and up with this ministry that I'm building. When it's a building alone with God and I, me, myself, and I, with God, and then, you know, whatever case may be. And, you know, there's someone, you know, saying my life, you know, saying I met, though, that could it be, you know, saying we are doing it to get close to God. Discipleship, yeah. But do I should wait on them? No, I continue building my relationship with God. I never lose my focus. He's always been my focus. Riding a bike to work, it didn't matter. I put my headphones in, so I worship him on the bike when I was working. And guess what? I'm I'm really happy, and I thank God for that. I'm blessed. Because you know why? You have to thank God no matter what you're going through, good or bad. And you know what? You should. You glorify him, and you should. People are out of stuck, out of pause. I don't care about America. What well, 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 won't taste a bit. I don't care about this and that. He said, don't care for the world. Now, didn't he? You have to think higher than that. So if they want to be divided, oh, that's on them. I'm not being divided with God, though. So evidently, you want to see a true American, I guess you could say? That lives under God of like me. Or people that love God actually. That's what America is supposed to be about. So therefore, yeah, I think well, if that's what you want to technically put, but my world head is above that. Because I don't I'm not here to be divided. You guys could always divide at me and left me out, whatever case may be. Hey, guess what? Ty tell the church that too. It's because you worry about flesh and what I look like. That's wrong. I'll call out Christian. I'll call now and believer. I'll say what's wrong, but they are not throwing stone. 
hey, it's just to help you all out. We, we're here to help each other. Hey, I do wrong, but you know what? At the end of the day, we also stop judging each other and just helping each other out, picking each other up. Like I do. I just tend to my own business. I'm not judging you. But you can't take out the plaque of someone else's eye if you don't clean out yours. So when you start having a clear vision, you start following God. That's when you could throw a stone. But till then, hey, look, we pick each other up. And actually, what's easier? Forget sin or continue walking. Reminding what God is about, how good he is, what he stands for. There ain't no, there ain't nothing evil wicked is going to stop me for loving my God. Praise and worship. This is spiritual warfare battle, and this God, this, this is okay. And you know what? You, hey, it ain't going to stop me from loving my God. The Alpha and Omega beginning in the first and last. I don't care what color you think he is, black, white, indifferent, doesn't really matter. God is God, and God will always be God, and God is love. And love is God. Christ is to live and death is to gain. Which one you choose, I choose to live. Live in Christ. I, I choose to put the armor of God on me. Love, faithfulness. Prayer warrior, not a warrior like, oh, I'm worrying about something. I'm panicking. No. Philippians 4, 6, don't worry about anything. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world, he gave his only God son. Whoever believes in him should not perish, have everlasting life. Um, Psalms 46.10, praying and be still knowing he is God. What else do you want? What else do, what else do you want to know? Or, or pray and be still know I am God. How's that one? There you go. So that way it's exact scripture. But what I'm saying is, yeah. But anyways, regardless... Of the matter is this. We hate, must be stronger than the ones who think they could run America. Because guess what? America is not a country. It's a whole business that Jesus is about to flip the tables. That's why it's called Babylon must is fallen. That's why it's in the prophecy. Regardless who's in office, Donald Trump could be in the middle. It's still being there. Guess what? To calm it down. But it's still going to go. Guess what? It's still going to flip. And then, guess what? This was going to happen. Big time to tell you this. You guys got to follow God before anybody. Read the word. Pray. Get in relationship. You want to know all of it's a whole mess. A lot of it is a whole mess. I may not be perfect. You may judge by my flesh. But then there you go. You're not walking by faith. You're walking by sight. I could have God in me. Just like you could see the poorest person on our street. You know what I'm saying? Homeless. Guess what? Be humble. God could be anywhere. He's everywhere. He sees everything. He's a spirit too. Just like there was the evil ones. And guess what? God is coming for the sinners which is the evils, not the not the righteous. So if you are righteous, then you should not have nothing to worry about. Now, do you? But see, I try my best. You could put me down to ten buck two. It don't matter because if you really think about it, you think I'm autistic, whatever. But everyone's bipolar. Everyone has OCD. Everybody, if you think about it, you have anger problems. You guys murdered each other, killed each other. I haven't murdered a person yet. I'm not a murderer. I am not. And God knows that for a fact. I don't own a gun. I don't need one because I don't hide behind one. Because guess what? I am not that spiritually weak. He said, live thy sword, die by sword. He all of that. So if you guys live by any kind, but this, listen, <laughs> the devil's about destruction. I don't care what you say. That's why everybody's falling. He destructs America, right? Am I, am I right or wrong? That's why he's divided. That's the enemy, right? That ain't God. Jesus was the issue. What was the carpenter? That's building, not destructing. He's not there to kill. He actually, he was, he died on the cross. Did he have a gun? Did he pretend? We're supposed to live in his image, right? 
We're supposed to love each other. That's the top commandments. So how are you gonna um how are you gonna um love each other if you're killing each other? That's not love. Only what Jesus did when he died because that's true love. Nobody could die for anybody. You guys will say, I won't die for y'all. And be honest with you, and I can't, and I won't. And the reason why I say that, because why? Because Jesus died for me on the cross. And, I, and you know what? And, and, and I thank him for that. Thank him for life every single day. I am blessed to have the life, and so should you. You should be happy for it, regardless what you have. You let greeting get in your way, that's wrong. Pride is wrong. We should know this stuff. You know what? You should know it. Say that I'm evil, but guess what? And I'm not doing half the things you do. You know what I'm saying? I don't go out being a cross-dresser. That's wrong, too. Abortion. That's wrong. Because whatever case may be in every scenario, you could throw an excuse. You limit God if you use an excuse. For abortion, whatever the case may be. Limit yourself when you go out. If that's the case, if you're that worried about getting then getting raped, whatever the case may be, then you don't like what I'm saying. Then stay about the way you things you shouldn't be going to. Stop being a hoochie mama and spinning your legs for no apparent reason. Your legs are made to make birth. Where you got there, your your genitals, God gave you purpose to make birth for a reason to multiply. And for love to make blessings come to life. Not just to have sex, enjoy it, then all oh, turn around, you don't want to take care of responsibility. See, for me, I don't have kids to say, oh, to have a kid. But I, I guarantee you this. If I did, I'd tell my absolute best, absolutely. But I've been smart. I ain't never had no team to build with. You know what I'm saying? And I had a very I had to make a really important decision in my past. I had to forgive something that I wasn't part of. Because he said forgive no matter what. But you know what I'm saying? Forgiveness. And that was hard, but you know, I'd have I forgive them. You know why? Because guess what? The child is taken care of by Jesus. And realize it's not death, this sleeping. Rejo rejoice, I know that in whatever case may be. That's what my faithful line, because it was an innocent one. Because the it, it, it didn't have it didn't really have a chance to live. So I know automatically goes to Jesus because it was the love of God's thought and creation that you kill. But that's the enemy, it's not of the flesh. I know it was saying, try to give me a hard time. Death's back to back, closer on my birthday. You know what? I've been falling and falling, and ain't nobody that dare pick me up. Yeah, I had depression, came over that. I've been, you know what I'm saying, picked on, beat, victimized. I victimized, I, I hurt people too in my life, you know what I'm saying, too. You know, I heard people too. You know what I'm saying? I heard animals. I, I you know what I'm saying? I, I had done crazy stuff back in my past. But I asked for forgiveness and everything else. That was my past. This is now. So for anybody, a lot of people telling me, oh, whatever case me, but yes, I had a guilty. Past, but guess what? I'm innocent now, and I've been saved. I don't do the crap that people pull. What's the excuse for not changing? Because do you love yourself? Is pride getting your way? I'm humble even just to expose myself. Reason why? Because there's nothing you can say now. And I've been willing to make that they ain't gonna let everyone know. Because I know God loves me. And you can see the raw emotion. But guess what? Who 
don't care. Because I'll let the tears. Because the tears let the more the bless who mourn. The bless these are the tears to let go. Because if you always hold a grudge, you can never beat the love of God. But see, I got rid of it. I forgave myself and I forgive people too. People's trespasses. I forgive myself. You have to forgive yourself. That's the most important thing. God, I forgive myself. I've done things in my past that you know, I shouldn't have to be in the open. But I, they, I already told you. Ain't, ain't nobody telling nobody their full details from the good or the bad, do they? Do they come with the testimony, the bad they do, or the bad what they've been through? I do it all. That God changed my life. That's how, that's how you get all out. I'm not a bad person. And I'm not a good person. I'm not perfect. But God loves me. Gave me purpose to live, right? That's called denying myself. That's called where's everybody at, where the love is at. It's my fault that God, uh, Jesus bleeds on the cross sometimes. It's my fault, and I and I ask him for forgiveness. I'm sorry. Because the wrong I do. The sins I cause. But you know what? God still loves me. God still loves me. But I did not do whip and lash him. That's not what I did. My sins. Because I made mistakes. In my life, I'm not proud of either. But I thank God for giving me another chance of loving me. Every step of the way. Keeping me with a sober mind. You want to talk about being free? I just ask for forgiveness, whatever case may be. I go on live. I'll, I'll say this. Share it. Humiliate me. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You want a pure heart? No one wants to see the real me? I think Jesus. And this is something the devil and Antichrist can't do. Is tell the truth. <laughs>